Hey YouTube, uh, the Big T out here, and uh, today I got a special uh, little thing for you guys. I'm gonna be uh, showing you guys how to uh, get a Game Boy emulator for your PSP. Because if you're like me, when you were a little kid, and uh, the original Pokemon games came out for the Game Boy, and uh, you couldn't afford them, you never bought them. So like me, I never got them, and I'm really disappointed I never did, and I've been wanting to play them for a while. So don't worry. As long as you have a PSP, which I'm sure a lot of people do, um, then you're set. Alright, so just follow my instructions and we'll get you ready to play your Game Boy in, I don't know, a little under 10 minutes probably. Um, I doubt that, I don't know. Okay, so um, what you're going to need obviously is a PSP. Uh, it doesn't matter what generation, I'm using my 1000, so it shows that uh, you can use on the 1000. And a computer and a pretty good uh, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, so uh, let's get open to this. Okay, so I have right now open up the four uh, websites that you're going to need to download from. Um, let's start from here because this is the main thing you're going to want is this H half byte loader. Um, do not worry, guys, I'll have every link that you see today in the description of my video, so do not fret, they will be there for you to open. So for me, if you're running 6.60 just like me, you're going to want to open that up. It's going to take you to another web page. You're going to see this web page. You're going to do scroll down to where it says download. And you're going to hit um, the recommend link, which is going to take you to this website, Half Byte Loader HBL. And it's going to say download. And you're going to hit download from Wululu, I guess you say, .net, direct link. Um, I'm not going to hit that because then it's going to download it again, and I already have the file. So once you've done that, you're uh, um, already there. You already got the one file downloaded. So uh, let's close that. Next file you want to download is GBA um, underscore BIOS dot bin. Again, this is going to be in the description. Do not worry. I'm going to hit download, and it's just going to download here. So I'm not going to download it again because I already have it. Um, then the next thing you want to do is go to this website called uh, wooloo.net. Same thing. But it's going to have this little title called 15 Essential Homebrews that run on the Half Byte Loader. So right here, um, what these are basically are basically different emulators. So um, for right now, I'm going to show you guys how to download the Game Boy emulator. But I'm pretty sure if you went back and looked at any other ones, you could come back and uh, get any one you want and look for other tutorials. But for right now, I oh, do not want to do that. Okay, well... Basically, you're going to want to go down here, so it says number 6, GPSP Kai, and go here, it says right here, it says download, and just click that, I didn't mean to download it again, because I already have it, but, um, so yeah, that's it, alright, here is, an, is something you don't really need right now, because these are just the ROMs that you're going to need to play, you know, game on, these three are what you really need essential for the, the, um, the, you know, the emulator to work, but once you have these three downloaded and installed, these are just, you know, you know, extras. But for right now, um, I'll download Super Mario Advanced. So what you're going to do is just go to this website, click any game you want, find any one you want, and go to, I pick Super Mario Advanced, I'm going to hit download. It's going to start downloading. Okay, so once you have that downloaded, you're going to want to open up your PSP, have it obviously inserted to your computer, and as you can see, I already have some couple of weird folders right here. Um, do not worry, those are the files that you need to download. So once you've downloaded them, I'll show you where they're going to be. So don't worry. Okay. So essentially, they're going to be in your downloads fo folder on your computer. But since I've already gone and done this, they're already, I've already made a folder, a library for them. So they're all right here for me to access. I recommend you do this. It's a lot easier to manage and stuff. Okay, so... The rest of the stuff I have here are games that I've played, um, that I have on my PSP right now, the emulator. Let's see the finish. Okay, so let me hold on. Let me just go here. Uh, let me get the Super Mario Advanced. So that's what you're going to do. It's going to be in your Dallas folder. You're just going to drag a game. For me, I made a new library, went to PSP. Uh, let's see, get rid of that now. Okay, so now it's right there. All you want to do is go to Extract All if you have this or any other, you know, system. Close out of that. Okay. So once you have this, it's right there. So you can just delete that since you have the unzip file. 
and so right there, so it's good. You don't need anything else. Okay, so let's get out of that. Okay. So like I said, once you have those three files downloaded, um, you're set, or, or four, or three, you know. You can download as much game as you want and put them on here, depending on your memory stick. Um, usually a lot of games don't take up that much memory, so, yeah. Okay. Um, first one you want to do is, see right here, it says HBIN. You're going to want to um, go here. Uh, where is it? It's... Okay. So you're going to hit open up HBLR118 side distribute it and whatever. Where it says HBIN, you just want to drag that copy over to the root of your PSP. The root of your PSP is basically where all the every major folder is at. So just copy and then or move, you know, drag and ugh, drag and then drop. I'm not gonna do that because I already have it. Okay. So the next folder you want to do is obviously you can see right here the HBL folder. Just simply drag and drop over there. Now the last one you want to do is go to open to PSP, um, both of them. So open PSP in here uh, and on your PSP. Then go to where it says both games. If you do not have game on your PSP, it's not nothing. You know, there's nothing wrong with your PSP. You're all fine. Let's go to folder, your new, and then go to folder, and then type in all capital game. But since I already have it, I'm not going to do it. So let me just delete that. So once you have the game folder, just open up them both and see how it have HBL. You're just going to drag and drop. Since I already have it, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so once you're done with that, you, um, uh, you're um, you say about you're almost halfway done. Uh, go back to the root of your PSP and go back here. Okay, so open up MHGPSKI. And um, just basically the same thing on the root of your PSP, just you know, drag and drop. So once you've done that, I say you're about halfway done. Okay, so then once you've got that, you're gonna want to. Um, oh wait, sorry. Um, this is GBA BIOS bin. You want to go to. You want to go to. Ah, uh, crap. Sorry. You're gonna go to MHGPS Kai, the one you just recently, uh, you know, put in here. Open that up. See where it says GBA BIOS dot bin. All you're going to do is drag and drop the one from here over here, and that's it. So then once you got that, you're pretty much set. Right now you can go on your PSP, and it, your emulator will be right there. But since without any games, it's not going to be that much fun. So to fix that, all you're going to want to do is go to GBA on the um, MHGPS Kai. Open up GBA, go to ROM, and any game that you've downloaded, open up Super Mario Brothers. Any game you've downloaded should be right here. So as you see, I opened up Super Mario Advance. Open that up. There should be a white folder, like a G GBA file. See here at Mario. So all you're going to do is go like this and copy or drag over. And you're, you're set. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, once you have everything I've done here, um, you're pretty much set to go on and play your PSP. Uh, your, GBA games, so uh, I'll switch over to the PSP cam or well my camera, and I'll show you on the PSP that it actually does work. Um, so yeah, um, I'm gonna close everything out here, and uh, yeah, I'll go see you guys in a second. Okay, YouTube. So now we're at the Game Boy. I mean, not Game Boy PSP. So once you're here, this should've been on this entire time. Obviously, if this wasn't on, then you wouldn't have been able to access your PSP's file. So, um, yeah, so you should be in USB mode now. So, simplest thing I can do is press circle, back out, and there you go. You want to go over, now you want to go over to is U or game, where it says game right there. Scroll down to where it says memory stick, press X. If you've done everything correctly, then there should be a little thing right here called HBL. All I want to do is hit X to open it up. It's going to take a while to open up. So well, let's just uh, sit here and wait for it. Okay. okay, so it should say that. Alright, everything's good so far. Okay, so don't fret. Your screen might not look, might not look like this exactly. 
but eventually, you know, the screen will look like that. That's just different wallpapers that they have up every time you open this up. So the controls are different for this. Start pressing X to access the stuff. You want to press circle. So what you're going to do is where it says those two dots right there, just press circle. Press circle again on those two dots until you find this MH GP, GPS P Chi. Then press circle, open that up, and now it's going to launch the emulator. So there, everything's. Uh, don't worry about this. It's just, um, it's really nothing. Okay, so if you've done, if you put the game in right, then your game should be right here. As you can see, I have a bunch of games right now. So let's open up Super Mario Advance since that's the one I downloaded for you guys. And uh, I don't know if you can hear that, but uh, it looks pretty good to me. Um. I've never really played uh, these, this Super Mario Brothers game before, so I don't know what the sounds are like. Just different, you know, the sounds aren't correct or whatever. But uh, let's just see how this works out. So, uh, seems to be working pretty fine. And then, basic directions are direction pad, and then circles to jump, triangles to pause, or to go back to this menu, and then a uh, circle. Oh, crap. Hold on. Okay. So, uh, let's see, should be, okay, so it's then, at, uh, X is to just go back to the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, so yeah, you pretty much got it, I mean, that's it. I mean, you download any game you want, and, uh, it'll be fun. So, you know, good job if you guys did this. Uh, I downloaded a Godzilla game, which is, like, really incredibly fun. But, um, it takes, like, forever to load, so, you know. Yeah, and then you can save your game right here, and then other stuff. You know, it, it's cool. Um, oh, do not want that. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay, well, the thing is, it's, it's kind of weird. So, um, I mean, I had this worked out yes yesterday, but I guess I don't have it worked out again. But basically, um, do not hit this, because if you hit that, then it's not going to load this up again. So if you do that, and it looks like I can't get out of it, so I might have to do that. Um, but yeah, I mean, basically, you can get out of this, and just, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, please, uh, you know, leave a uh, like this, um, rate, comment, and subscribe, and uh Please leave in the comments below if this did not work for you. So, yeah. Uh, this has been Big Key's Tech Help. And, uh, yeah. Good job, guys. I'm out. Peace.